There are so many changes that happen naturally around us. Fruits change from raw to ripe. Wet flow becomes dry. Food gets digested. Tree leaves dry out and fall. Flowers blossom and so many more. But can we bring change in certain object? Can we be the magician to change things around us? We can. One way of changing things is by heating them. What happens when you heat an object? Does the object change? If yes, then is the change reversible? Let us try understanding this through some examples that we come across in our daily lives. What happens when we heat water? What happens when we heat wax? And what happens when we heat iron? Do all these things undergo some changes when heated? As the water is heated, it changes to water vapors that is nothing but steam. And what if we heat wax? It changes to liquid wax. And what about iron? It is so strong, does it change on heating? To bring about any change in iron, we need to strongly heat it. It then starts expanding and its shape changes. And if you heat it more and more, it might change to liquid iron. So we can say that heat has the capacity of changing things around us. But are these changes permanent? Let's start off with steam. Can steam change back to water? Yes, we have learned that steam that is nothing but water vapor, when cooled down, it changes back to liquid water. And what if we cool down liquid wax? It would also change back to solid wax. Then what about iron? When it is heated, it expands. What if we cool it down? Will it contract? Yes, it will. Let's understand this through an example. These are tools which are used to dig the soil. The iron blade in these tools is fixed to the wooden handle. The iron blade of these tools has a hollow ring in which the wooden handle is fixed. Normally, the ring is slightly smaller in size than the wooden handle. To fix the handle, the ring is heated and it becomes slightly larger in size. Now, the handle easily fits into the ring. When the ring cools down, it contracts and fits tightly onto the handle. Thus, in all the three cases above, the changes can be reversed. So generally, when we heat objects, they undergo change. Their appearance changes, but the original substance does not change and can be gained back. But what happens to a raw potato when we heat it? It becomes soft. Can we get the raw potato back now? Nope, we cannot. So in some cases, after heating an object, it changes permanently. Now, let us move ahead with some more but slightly different examples. Here, I have a candle and incense stick. Let's light both of them with a matchstick. Do you see any changes in both of them? They have become shorter than they were. Can this change in length be reversed? Think about this and in meanwhile, look at the matte stick which I used to light these two things. Let's compare it with the unburnt matte stick. Are both of them completely different? Yes, they are. Can you change the burnt matte stick back to its original form? No, we cannot. And we cannot even reverse the change in the length of the candle and the incense stick. In all three cases, the candle, incense stick and matte sticks are transformed into new substances like smoke, ash and some other gases. Thus, such changes are irreversible. Whenever you burn something, the original substance changes into new substance. So we cannot regain the original substance back. Okay, now what do we conclude out of what we have just learned? We have so far understood that we can change certain substances by heating them or burning them. Also, we know that some changes occurring in substances due to heating 
are generally reversible. But when we burn them, they change permanently. This is all about heating and burning substances. But is this the only way of bringing change in a substance? Can there be some other ways of changing substances temporarily or permanently? Let's find out in the coming lesson.